What's up, YouTube? Loop True, Bluey Fist here again. I'm super tired, but um, I need to show you guys this deck real quick before I go to bed, uh, or at least I need to record the intro for the video before I go to bed. All right, so here is the deck we use today. It is called Savage Ways. You probably haven't seen a uh, Sauron deck in a while, but here is one with the return of Zabu back to his kind of former glory, not 100% former glory, but he's better now than he was a few weeks ago. So we got Zabu in here as one cost. We also have Grandmaster. So this deck can kind of go a few different ways. You have Shuri. You have Enchantress, Crossbones, and Typhoid Mary. So you got the requirements that I say for a Zabu deck, which is at least four four cost cards. So if these are in the deck and you can play down Zabu, on turn two, you can play down Grandmaster. And now you got two cost, four cost cards. Ooh, pretty nice. Um, so one thing you can do with that is you can continue to buff up, throw out a bunch of uh, four costs, I mean, four costs or now two cost cards that are 10 powers in the form of Typhoid Mary, Crossbones. Of course, on turn three, you're going to want to saw run, but those are going to reduce the cost of Scar. Now, if you didn't get a, um, if you didn't get Zabu and Grandmaster in the beginning, you can also throw down Zabu. I like to throw them in the left or the right. That way, uh, I'm not Zabu, I mean Shuri, of course, I meant to say Shuri. Throw down Shuri over there. You can throw down the thing that you want to actually upgrade, which in this case is going to either be Crossbones, Typhoid Mary, could be Red Skull, doesn't really matter whichever one you want to do. But after that, you can play down Grandmaster, then a re-trigger Shuri in the middle lane, and you can toss down something big. It kind of be a, a big surprise of power that your opponent won't be expecting. So we had a lot of fun playing with this deck. I enjoyed playing with it. It's been a while since I played with a Shuri Sauron deck. I didn't even play with it a lot when it was really powerful. But yeah, um, we also got stuff in here like Zero Ebony Ma, uh, just because why not? Of course, Red Skull's in here because he's a great ongoing card you can take away with Enchantress or with uh, Zero. You can get a really big power buff to that. So try it out. Tell me if you like it or not, guys. Um, it was pretty fun. I had a lot of fun playing with it. Of course, if you want to, you can trade out some stuff. Maybe you don't want Lizard. Maybe you want to throw in something that's on reveal. On reveal works out great with Sauron because it doesn't affect them. So try it out. See what you see. See what you can come up with. A lot of people are playing the same damn decks nowadays. Play something different. Stop playing all this broken bullshit. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of seeing it. Play something fun and original. It's kind of hard to be original and snap, but you know what I mean. Play something that's not the same damn stuff we've seen. Anyways, hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Later. Listen to Yo, Tizzy and Tizzy, Tizzy, I know my mom. Tizzy, welcome to the Loop Troop. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> tizzy, Tizzy and Nomora? Tizzy and Nomora? I hope that's right. I went to the danger zone. Uh oh. It's the dream dimension. Love to you until you get it on a red light over love. You never know what you can do. He didn't do nothing to nobody, but okay. Corvus Glaive. Let me guess the other one's gonna be Swarm. Ah, oh, Swarm Master, that's not bad. <laughs> this is actually more power over here.
We still got 20 power over here on the left. I mean, I don't think he has Shang-Chi, but he might. Now nah, he's out of here. Victory. Oh, that was you, Fubu. Yo, GG's, dude. GG's, dude. That was good. You don't come on here often, only really for drops. Ah, now nah, you're good, dude. Man, that was a good, that was a good match. Venom. I am phenomena. We'll let him see about what he's going to do about. Oscorp. You're back, yo. What's up, sushi? All right, I figured he'd have something like that. Get something big over on the left anyway so we had a bunch of power over here so i can play everything this seems reasonable and we'll see what happens You know, this seems reasonable. How did our cards get to be negative? Oh, Cassandra. He was gonna watch the girl stand player, but Loopy is. Ooh, so you think I'm pretty? Can you please play the game? All right, hold on. He can add eight to this with one surfer. Eight to that with one surfer is a lot, right? Does he have Shang-Chi? He has Ironheart. Sage and Silver Surfer. So still was not enough. Um, It might have been enough before I did that though. There you go. Um, I don't remember how much I had before this. What I have, 23 plus two, 25, I would have lost. It's a good thing I moved Scar over here. But yeah, that was great. That was a good game right there, I gotta say. Really good one. 
I'll try Sarah out and let you know, bet. Also, stuff like Rogue is great too. Steal other people's bu bu bullshit. If you can steal someone else's bullshit, that's even better, you know? To me, it seems like winning isn't that important for high voltage. It's about completing the mission. Yeah, completing the missions, but also winning does help because over time, it's 20, every 20, every five wins is 100 points. You need 11,000 points. So if you can win a couple, like if you can win like 200 times, then that's a lot of points, you know? Love me steel decks? Yeah, do that. Steal, steal the decks. Still some shit. Yeah. But basically just try to have as much fun as you possibly can, Sushi. That is the main goal, having fun. If you can have fun, you'll be fine. Oh, you think uh, Grandmaster's interesting into this? It can be. I think he forgot about this too. You ever get to Dragon Con? There's a Rocky Horror Live there every year. Really? No, I've never been to Dragon Con. You, I'm the best, Luby. Thanks for the advice, dude. I'll, I'll always give out advice. Uh, it might not be the best advice all the time, but I'll give out some, definitely. I promise you that. What's more important? Well, he has four cards in his hand. What's more important, getting rid of Morbius or laying down an extra 10 power? I don't think the extra power is ever gonna get me a win here, right? You think getting rid of Morbius is more important? I don't know why I said important like that. You Jared, your movie sucks, oh my God. You just want me to get rid of Morbius, but Morbius is a good character. Jerry Leto just is a bad movie star. Cause I'm, th I'm thinking like I'm adding, I'm getting rid of, I think that this is always better because I'm taking off. I could, I could definitely, I could definitely go about playing like a little bit more energy here. I think this is just better though. Cause he's, I'm adding five power, but I'm also, not only am I adding five power, I'm getting rid of his six, his eight power actually. Now what is, what is Dracula gonna hit is the big question. Apocalypse and we lose. No, we win, tiebreaker. It's hip to B squared. You just alive someone's Gatling Gambit deck, the emote, damn. I'm gonna assume they were not happy with you, Icolus. <laughs> I don't, people get upset when you do stuff like that to them, but they don't realize that they're about to destroy your entire setup. Like, I understand like cool shit, but you're about to destroy my entire, that's like somebody getting upset that you stopped their, their, their bowling ball from hitting your sandcastle but you stopped it by breaking their bowling ball. <laughs> I get it. They shouldn't, but they were rolling it at your sand castle. <laughs> like they're getting upset with you for stopping. They're like, what? How could you use that card to stop this? This is so shitty. You use one card to stop my, my, my giant. It's like, dude, calm down, calm down. It's happened to me before. You know, and I knew I had a feeling what you were gonna do, and I'm happy that I did it because you were gonna sub, sub, subject yourself to such such blasphemy. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's fine. Thank you for watching.
watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to check out this one right here. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Have a great Spooktober.